Hey guys and welcome back to scripting tutorials of expert series and this time we have expert tutorial number 8 and this time well it won't be too much of a tutorial and more like a showcase and yes we are finally back after a month something like that and this time I have no lag, no stuttering, nothing at butter move 60 fps, 1080p. And you can now watch as I'm showing you my creation. And that is I recreated a sort of um, unrelenting force obviously in uh, Roblox. Yeah, we are back to Roblox. Um, so you see right here a little bit of testing I did, yeah, from the head perspective, well, it kind of looks like I'm relenting force, from side, mm, not so much, but that's not exactly how it looks, and if you want to see it, here you go, if you were watching Skyrim gameplay, you know what to do, so with me I'll just kind of just fuss and throw but still you see everything just flying away like it should so I wanna say it's pretty accurate sort of okay let's watch it in first person shall we okay I get it second and the third war doesn't really work for some reason maybe I didn't unlock it or something like that I'm sure that's the case okay that was just fools I guess and regardless it looks like it works even in the first person Okay, let's do it again on this guy. I just took it for testing. I didn't make it, obviously. It's from a toolbox. Okay, who's? Yeah, looks like it sort of works. Okay, I died. Anyways, as you can see in console, uh, there is one word of power, two words of power, and three. So you can't get four. Then it prints everything I need to. So, you might ask, wait a minute, this is not a scripting tutorial, then you need to show us the scripting part, oh yes, we have a lot of scripting, that's just, uh, by the way, mm, that's just this thing, Unrelenting force, I was just testing how it should work, yeah, and if you looked uh, closely, right there, yeah, I just used the brick that expands over time and moves to the axis. And this one actually goes indefinitely. Or should I say infinitely? But in the brick that I used on this guy's face, it moves until the point depending on how much your shout is charged. That is how many words have you used. And they mean words of power, not just words. So, the one word goes um, shorter distance, two words, medium distance, and three words goes pretty much pretty far. Let's just put it this way. And with quite a lot of force. Yeah, no pun intended. So, uh, yeah, we have this testing. You see, it's just. I just copied it. I don't care what it was. I wanted just a humanoid. And then every magic, uh, every piece of magic is just here, uh, here, here, and here. Yeah, it's, in fact, that's everything. I did not create any parts, nothing. <laughs> yeah. So, you, you can guess probably. Mm. And those scripts, yeah, they are pretty darn long. Well, this one is not particularly so is this one but this one oh yes 251 lines well i mean i can just uncomment this it doesn't matter and publish this yeah because we can so 
Um, yeah, this thing is pretty long, but it's actually the same thing, but a little bit modified. So, uh, the part I made it myself from scratch, that is, is just this. It's still pretty long. Let's see how much is it. Uh, about 70 80 lines, something like that. Yeah. Also, it's supposed to make a sound, but it doesn't because reasons. And yes, oh, I tried both the numbers, and uh, you will see right here the actual best ID like that. Just doesn't want to load. Also, I actually put it right there somewhere. I think, yeah, right here to sound. Yeah, it just has failed to load every single time, and that's not even my fault. As you can see, just cannot. But if Roblox fix that issue, then you might just take the script and use it. I don't care. Well, first let me explain. So, and there is not nothing too new. Well, there is, there is. I'm lying. Yeah, there is this, now we can get the head of player and uh, um, that is a remote function Yeah, I still know how to script even after a month break or so Yeah, I used module script also that is this So it just calculates things, you know um, The time, I press the key then it returns it, so I just get the mouse, you know, I print it just in case and then when I press a key, it is Z, like in Skyrim exactly then uh, yeah, um, this is how you calculate the time difference at least that's one of the ways of course I changed the time, it used to be a tick, then it's elapsed time hmm, I don't know um, I think it's a similar thing, but it still works nonetheless, so I just um, subtract this by this, and then I reset everything, this, this should reset everything, I know, it may not work, well you can modify it yourself, I don't think I'm gonna update it, quote unquote, uh, so... Yeah, there is a player, you know, and then I just um, take this remote function that is right here, shout, because there is clients and server thing when you press a key, and all the magic happens here, so yeah. Then we, um, we make a loop, and then I require this, key hold, script, calculate the time I held this, well that is probably an easier way to do this, but obviously I did not figure that out. So first I reset it, words of power really equal, equal zero, then if key time is less than one second or equals, and this value is true, well I took it, what is it, and show this one. Um, also, when you say it is true, some weird things happen. I'll show you later. So, first it resets it again. Brings one word of power. Um, sets it to one, yeah. Well, this doesn't really make much sense what I did, but just in case, for some reason. Then I take an argument that is this one. And then I check it once again. Yeah, okay, you get what I'm saying? You're still here? Good. So, we obviously do the same thing for this and for this, but the number is 2 and 3, obviously. So then we again reset it, just in case it's neither, it's 0. Not sure why am I doing this then, but whatever. You can't be too sure about these things. So we wait and, and then it loops again if it doesn't find any words of power, that is key times. 
I didn't press the key, you know. And then there is a spawn. Yes, spawn. You don't know what spawn means? Oh, yes. That's because I didn't teach you it. Hmm. Well, you might know it from other uh, tutorials. But spawn is, well, it's, I guess, a quite advanced thing. But not too much. So, spawn is. Um, hmm. Let me put it this way. Um, uh, let me say I create another script, try to duplicate it or something, and then I, I copy this function. Well, it doesn't need to be function, just this, and then put it in another script, right? Imagine that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what it does. You just don't need to create another script for that. And uh, if you want to get technical, it uh, runs this command function that is in a separate thread so in parallel um so everything else after it can run again you get what i'm saying hope you do and it still does it in order whoops so that is pretty cool that means you can put while loops and stuff like that and uh, other script can be running too. You don't need a separate script for that. Pretty, uh, I guess, convenient and uh, neat. Organized, maybe. And uh, what is a thread, you might ask? Well, uh, your uh, CPU, central processing unit, also this may get very technical. So that's a warning. Uh, it he has cores, yeah, cores. And uh, if it's new, that means uh, if it's seventh or eighth generation or sixth or something like that, I don't even remember when it started. Um, it might have thing. If it's Intel, it may have thing called multi-threading, right? You get what I'm saying? And this uh, can double your cores. It is the things you can do at the same time. Or is like a processor pretty much. And it can do things at the same time. That means run those spawn functions. Okay. Okay, see how this is related? Right? And that multi-threading multi can double your cores. So if your CPU have 6 cores. Uh, then it will have 12 threads okay so we can put 12 spawns there and it will run at the same time simple right maybe i don't know it's not for me to decide if it's simple yeah there's nothing else to talk about it well i can say that i can make a while loop and a function in a for loop that counts it that it doesn't count it for some reason i don't know why it doesn't work you might just take a look inside of course i'm gonna leave it in the description or a comment section if it doesn't fit um and you can take it i don't care to be honest so uh again we wait we print the seconds left although it doesn't really work then we just set it to true then wait again and so, so it loops right and this should set a value to true but it does weird things when i do it so, so yeah i know this script needs some tweaking parts it works and that's important that's just a proof of concept get what i'm saying okay so, then, mm, well, we're gonna start from beginning, I guess. So yeah, we get a shout, right? And then we use on server invoke. That is not connect function. You cannot get it. Connect is get. Equal is set. Okay. Then we set this to function. So when you invoke, you call this function, this big function that is 251 lines long. Or maybe 249? Probably. So, first argument is player. Yeah. 
So another uh, argument is that we pass from the E press. And that is worth of power. It's one, two or three. If it's more then it might throw an error. Because I told him to do that. And then if it's one, then we get ahead of it. We print foos and then we make a sound and set the sound to these options that are equal to where is it? This but it doesn't work. It doesn't work. And just get this asset ID if you want, but it doesn't work. And I cannot do anything about it. My place is published. You already saw that. Do it again. It does not work. So, regardless, then we create another part called force. Well, the variable is called force. Then we name it to force from capital F. Then we set it to being invisible because people don't want to see behind the scenes usually. And the particles are cooler than brick that flies at weird angles. You can just set it to smaller value if you want to know what I'm talking about. Then we set it to that part be on our head. It's invisible. Well, it's anchored and invisible and you cannot touch it. So it's unobservable unless you are using Explorer and untouchable, something like that. Then we set the size to be this. It's pretty big. I think it's size of like this. Yeah, like this. Uh, cyan, light blue part. C blue, electric blue part, something like that. Uh, yeah. Yes, what I'm saying? Good. So, then we put this force part into the head. Well, I could just do this. No. Just to save those tiny bits of performance, maybe. I think this helps. Not sure though. Okay. You're still here? Okay, anyways. Then we have this part, which is a part, it's really really small, I think this is as small as you can get, uh, I think on the current version, well, I'm not sure, I, so I can just take check it on the go, you know, right, yep, that's as small as you can get, I don't know, you may be using a bit newer version, or you might be watching this uh, a bit later. So this value may change and uh, they already have those settings that they don't even have before. Yeah, so Roblox updates itself maybe fairly quickly, I don't know. Uh, it's up to you to decide once again, so yeah, uh, transparency should be one, that's my bad, I get it. It should be invisible. And then it's the head to see frame, although you don't really see it anyways. It's really hard to see the, the small part. Come on, someone tell me you see the part. Okay, I get it. It's somewhere around here, I think. I think I saw it. A little glimpse of it. But it's almost unseeable. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, tell me someone can see it from, from this far. Come on. Tell me, anyone can see it? I don't think you can. So, it doesn't really matter too much. Yes, I know there are more lines right here that need to fix them. Yes, yes, I get it. But we need to continue, okay? Then we put this to head. Because I want to make things organized. But it's gonna be deleted anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Then we set it to again untouchable, unfeelable, and unevergingable. I know that's not a word, but doesn't matter. Then we need a particle so everything would be cool, very cool. Yes. Then we put the size to increase rapidly. Like you see right over here, it's exact copy. Yeah. It's pretty cool effect on my opinion. 
and the decal is actually well the force from Skyrim that you image in the inventory. That's what I'm saying, I hope. I guess this is as good as I can get without making things in Photoshop. Yeah, that's the texture, okay, yeah, this one. Then we have transparency. Yeah, this may not work also, so keep in mind. Then we have transparency, that is another very, very long number sequence. Yeah, and it's exactly, I think it's exactly the same as this, you see right here. Yeah, I can show you if you really want, yeah, that's the number sequence, okay? envelopes and stuff like that yeah then that's another sequence but without envelopes because I don't really like them on the size this makes things weird you know what I mean emission direction it's front as if it's back it doesn't make any sense lifetime well it, it varies I think on the first floor is 1, 3, and another is 2, 4, 2, 5, and on the third one it's 3, 7. Then we have rate, it's always 2000, because I want to make it quick and be disappearing quickly. Then number range, it's just to rotate it, yeah, like that. Then we have speed, that's um... It still needs to be number range, that is 20, uh, you can put another argument that would be, I don't know, 20, 40, so it, that's how number range works. It's a number, a random number between this and this. Okay, then spread angle, well, that's factor 2, so it's X and Y, it just spreads the... Uh, it doesn't have any depth. You know what I mean? Just spreads that way or that way. So I made it square. Then I name it Raw Power because why not? To be honest. And parent is that part. Then that's another spawn function that runs in a separate thread. So it doesn't need to wait. It can uh, run straight to this and everything will be running. Simple and really cool. Mm. Then we have NP, that is position of the ending part and the only thing I figured how to do it is with attachments. I know, you may use just factor 3 value cal calculated in a specific way. I'm too lazy to do the math, to be honest. So yeah. And then, uh, yeah, it's, it's a new attachment. And name is end, because why not, to be honest. Then position is this. And that is exactly sa same as this beam. Yeah, as you can see. But it's negative. Because it doesn't work. For some reason if it's positive then it's backwards so yeah anyways let's continue we have parent that is hit yeah count equals zero count will be useful later then orientation we get the orientation that is at this moment because i don't want people use this as a, a weird spear and then swoop everyone out by uh, doing 360 no scope with force because that is you guessed it weird yeah then we have position same thing pretty much that's end position and that's head position and then we spawn another function in a separate thread see why it's useful to have those spawn functions they are independent and script just can run from this to this instantly and this can be running in parallel then we um, make an event that is being put uh, this part and it's gonna have it's gonna get fired when it touches 
pretty much anything that is not you because yes i tried pushing me and it, the weird things happened yeah you pretty much are going to get a perpetual motion engine um, in some way by shouting yourself upwards then jumping and then you may fly but um, Robo said this not work that way and you can only, only look and dead straight you cannot go up or down because head this moves for some reason weird I know so we get a hit of parent if it's not me then we do this we just put the body force and force is equal to this so it's vector free value that's another function lerp lerp yep such a weird word but that's I think a synonym to interpolate that just interpolates position between one point and another so first point is this another point is end position then there is alpha that uh, multiplies maybe something like that I don't know I just know that it works I know how it works but it works okay you know what I mean yeah I just know it works that's just interpolation between one point and another as I said so between this for example and this I know maybe it gets a relative vector free value this is how you would um, get uh, the endpoint that is attachment instead that's the word position by the way yeah this may work and also you want it to work in any angle yeah I think that was obvious but I'm just pointing that out just in case so then we put all the footage into the hit parent so it would be pushed and after a second destroyed so it wouldn't be perpetually pushed so it wouldn't be too weird okay then we put this but it's not in a separate thread because it's already reaching the end so we make this well you could put it in a separate thread by no writing spawn but that's not necessary also it needs to reach the end of it yeah anyways so we wait 1.1 second then force the size to be uh, it would increase a little bit by this when the position is again interpolated between one point and another and that count is the kind of a great keyframes so um, let me explain so since this point and this point um, it's kind of the uh, alpha is kind of like percentage of a position between this point and another so 50% would be in the middle yeah get what I'm seeing and point 15 would be something like here and like here then it moves here 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 and yeah yeah that's pretty cool and it works surprisingly you set C frame to be um exactly this keyframe times angles so the angle uh, I want the angle to be um well it's never flat it's never exactly flat like this um I'm not sure why once again but it's never for example horizontal sort of um it's never like this so it will always cover this the force i mean the place where those particles are so this won't cause any issues on that point so this is what it does but it doesn't do it well that's what i'm saying but it works <laughs> it works that's what's important i guess so if we count um 
that is this is equal to 0.3. I think it will look like 20 times. Something like that. Then it will break. So if it reaches the third of its um, final destination. So if it reaches the full, or I guess um, point, um, point 0.3 of this distance. That's pretty good distance if you ask me. So yeah it reaches the third so it's something like here here i think then it just stops and it gets destroyed later so yeah i think it will get destroyed uh right here you have this part it's destroyed right here so and it breaks the loop also so this part works it's working everything yeah and also, I want to uh, let's see to update the first part. One, yeah, I fixed the bug on camera. Wow. Okay, so yes, and fixed another typo. Yeah, and another typo. Wow. Look at that book fixing. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Wish every developer did like that. Now you know how it works. Great. So you can just, I don't know, put it in your game or something. And I would be a pre I, I would be appreciated if you gave me a credit for this. This is a great concept. Yeah. Look, fools throw and die. That's only fools for some reason. But it pushes everything. Yes, we can increase the values of it. Yep, that's 24 times. That's the force of it. 24 times the force of pulse relative, I think. I think it's 24 times uh, uh, 165 pound force, something like that, I guess. This is just a part you want to change. That's twice the 165.5, so. I think it's 163.5, something like that. No, it's 126.5, yeah. So it's uh, like uh, 254, 255 precisely. And it's in every side, don't forget. It's in X and Y, uh, or X and Z. Uh, y, well, not sure about it. I don't think you can turn your head upwards. But if you made it in your game, you can, obviously. So, I guess that was it, pretty much. And uh, you can put any effect on this. You can put, like, it burns people, it damages them. I don't care, I don't know. You can put everything. You can put a lighting strike on anyone's head. No, wait, I think I might do it later. If you want, so. You can always leave a like, you can uh, write in the comments what should I do next, what should I recreate next in Roblox, and if I have enough ideas by myself, from myself, and uh, you guys, I can make series of it, definitely. So, I guess that was it. And if you are wondering how did I do this, no, I did not do this manually. I just put a uh, command. This um, is the command. Here, here you see it. Here, you can copy it. You can copy it. I did myself, by the way. I just get the children, get everything. And then uh, set every single parts. Uh, position. I mean the color to random and then it's position to this well it's rather 0.5 uh, comma 3 I think yeah I modified it a little bit and it does it randomly oh yeah also have mentioned the throws and error because there are models I hope you guys enjoyed this um, great video I think yeah, I haven't done those in quite a while, as I said, but if you give me an idea, I will definitely do it. So, 
I will see you next time. And uh, I'll leave you with this physics simulation. Goodbye.